This is a common problem in WordPress. This is a website I've made and you can see I'm logged in. But if we go into an incognito window, anybody can guess the login URL of my website by just going here and type in forward login and access the login page of my website. Now, they won't be able to log in without a username and password, but this is the first step in hackers and malicious users steps to figure out uh, how they can guess my password or brute force it and gain access to the backend of my website. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve this problem by changing the login URL of your WordPress website. Let's begin. So to change the login URL of our website, we'll first go into the admin area. Since I'm already logged into this website, I can go to the admin area directly. I already have it open in a new tab. We'll install a new plugin, which helps us change the login URL. So we'll go to plugins, add new. And inside the search box, I'm gonna search for a plugin called WPS Hide Login. And this is the plugin we're gonna use. I'm gonna install the plugin. And the plugin is now installed. Let's also activate the plugin. Now, since the plugin is installed, we can access the settings by going here, but it'll also be a hyperlink to access the settings by going to the WordPress settings, which is right here and going to WPS hide login. So I'll click this button and it'll take me to the settings directly. Now we're going into the general settings because the settings for WPS hide login are actually inside the general settings. So you can see these settings right here. These are settings for WPS hide login. You have two fields to customize. The first one is the login URL, which you can change to anything you like. This will be the secret login URL, which will create so that only you remember it. And the second one is a redirection URL. So let's say you change the URL to something else but somebody else tries to log in using the old URL, then they'll be redirected to this particular page. By default, it's the 404 page. That's the setting I would recommend. But if you create a dedicated page just to have a little fun with somebody who's trying to log in, you can create a different page and have the URL set up here. I'm gonna just change the login URL to secret login just to keep it simple. You should have a little more, I'd say, unique idea when you're changing the URL. So I'll just type in secret and a hyphen, and now the URL is secret login. I'll click save changes. And I should get a success message, which is right here. You should also see it. Success message. Your login page is now here. Bookmark this page. Now, it's very important to either remember this, save this, or bookmark this page so that you don't forget this. Because if you forget your login URL, you can have a little inconvenient time. You'll have to contact your hosting provider, get FTP details, disable this plugin. And if you disable this plugin using FTP, then you will be uh, able to log in your website using the old URL. But it's a little bit of an inconvenience to actually forget this and do all this. And I say beginners will have, find a hard time to understand the process and follow along. So it's much easier and much safer to remember or I say save the URL. So if you have a very unique, let's say a combination of weird words and characters, it's very important to either bookmark the page or save it somewhere so that you don't forget it. All right, now since this is very simple that I've, I've not made a huge uh, complicated URL, I, I'm not gonna save it, but just to remind you, you should be doing this. So let's start now opening up the website in an incognito window and try and log in with the old URL and also with the new URL. So I'll open up an incognito window and let me just resize this for a second. So let me open the website up once again. First, I'll go to the home page. And this is the same play, same thing I showed up, home page. And I'll just try to log in with the old URL, which is forward slash login. And now it brought me to the 404 page, which is the expected behavior. I can also try to do admin. And once again, I'm on this page. So whenever anybody tries to log into a website with any kind of URL, WP admin, login, they'll be brought to the 404 page. Only the URL that we decided to change to will be working here. So secret login. This is the URL we set. Let's press enter. And now we have the backend area of the website. And this is how easy it is to change the login URL of your WordPress website. But this also has one thing missing, which you don't have any design changes or design control over this page. And if you wanna learn how to make this URL change and also have a unique design to your page, you can watch this video right here. And if you like this WordPress videos, then you should subscribe and follow our channel. And also, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. You're watching Vivraj from Double Beginner. I'll catch you in the next one.